So guys, I don't usually do this thing where I vlog and I share my day and life and whatnot, but this is a video that means a lot to me. So I'd appreciate it if you've stuck around for the entirety of it. But um, I'm moving out of this house tomorrow morning. I've been here for 14 years. Um, it's kind of all I know, but all will be explained in this video. So let's get into yeah. it. Styling no. Listen, but got pictures with me smiling, no. All the things you need, you still want problems, no. All the things I know, I still want silent, no. I remember you scared to go home. Till my mama found out I did wrong. I could see the tears fall from her eyes And her child was always in some So, after 14 years, it's time to move I guess So, I'm very very good at manipulating the angles and whatnot You literally only ever get to see my no study office downstairs and I think you I've, I've shot a video on my couch once I've never actually shown you like kind of what my house looks like I'll give you like a brief <laughs> look around this <laughs> this is my wardrobe um, or at least some of it yes used to have doors but that broke in a bit of a family incident um, this is actually where it went so I guess it's kind of convenient I guess I have another mirror out here now, one thing about my house, it is, has been renovated in like 14, 15 years. So it is quite literally falling apart. And obviously me and my mom never had any money to fix things. Um, so we just kind of dealt with it. So yeah, once again, uh, that's my shower. Broken the shower head, that was a long time ago. Everything in here is pretty much broke. Um, yep, yeah, this is my, <laughs> It's my uh, bathroom, as you can see, just like everything in this house on another level is broken. Um, yeah, basically in general, I would, uh, I would not call my house a nice place to live, uh, but then again, at least I have a roof over my head. Um, yeah, I guess um, I'll show you around a little bit more. So. Living room, upstairs rooms. As you can see, everything's getting ready, getting packed. Um, and then, yeah, this is kind of like what it looks like when you first come in to a place. Obviously, this is what you guys actually see all the time, which is my study, which is a bit different now, now that everything's being moved. And um, yeah, and then that's my kitchen. That's my mom. You uh, you sad Hello. to see me leave? No. Wait, you're not sad. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. So there you have it, guys. Last day in this place, and uh, now it's time to uh, pick up the keys, move all of my crap, and move into my new place. So, just went to the state agents, got yeah. the keys, I got the keys. So guys, it is around three days later, I'm finally settled into this apartment and I know what all of you guys want to see and that is an apartment tour. Now, keep in mind, I'm not fully moved in yet, it's a bit messy. Um, there's things that still need to be set up, but for the most part, I've gone set up and um, yeah, this is my apartment. It is pretty much ground floor. Technically, it's a basement, but it's like a foot underground. Two bedrooms. Um, there's a sick garden. Um, I mean, I <laughs> might as well just show you around. So let's get into it. As you can see, that's kind of like the doorway up there, if I can point correctly. You got these little like stairs that come down as such. By the way, it's also night, so just keep that in mind. It's night. Um, obviously, in the day, it'll look 
a lot nicer. So there we go. So you come in through there, and then this is the uh, the first sort of view. So this cool thing. Uh, this is just a boiler room. Uh, keep my coat in there. Um, this, which is a cool little pop of color. Um, there's a very just vintagey old look to this place, which I actually really like. Um, in general, like I, I've been looking for the past six months. Um, I saw quite a few places and I just instantly fell in love with this one. Not only is it the actual interior, a lot of you guys won't know London that well. Um, a lot of you guys are in America and stuff like that. But basically, I live in a place called Chelsea. Um, and I also live on just off the road, uh, off a road called King's Road. Now, for those of you that do live in London, obviously, you know, King's Road is one of, if not the nicest or most kind of like desired place roads to live on. Obviously, there are nicer places like the Boltons, um, stuff like that. One Hyde Park, more expensive, but like everything kind of just like, like King's Road is where you want to be. And this is literally off King's Road on a quiet little road, very like discreet, very quiet, stuff like that. So. Anyways, uh, that is kind of like the main area. This is cool. Uh, got, just got some spinning chairs here. As I said, this place is a bit messy because I'm moving in. This is cool. Spinning chairs. I can meditate. I can read there. And I can also watch TV, which we'll actually get to in a second. So, yeah, you come in through here. Now, this is actually Bob's room. And let me go ahead and turn the light on. So, yeah, this is uh, Bob's room. Obviously, he hasn't really done it up as of yet. So um, yeah, basically I live alone guys, but Bob and I are actually splitting the rent. So he's paying uh, a little percentage, he's paying 25% and then I pay 75% plus all of the bills. So overall, I guess all together it works out. He pays like um, one fifth of the total price of the place and I pay around four fifths, which obviously makes sense. Uh, he'll be here maybe two months of the year. Uh, so basically I live alone. It's, it's a great arrangement for both of us. Uh, because basically he gets to put this as a company expense, uh, which is obviously quite useful, uh, which makes it actually super cheap for him. Um, and here's the thing, like, like Bob is one of my best friends. Like, like th that guy, that guy's my big brother. Like I want him to come to London and I want him to stay with me rent free. So like, it's kind of cool, uh, because this way I literally have like my big brother stay with me when he does come to London. Um, and it's, uh, even though it's only 20%, one fifth, it still helps towards the cost of the apartment. Uh, because as I said, if he came and I had this place to myself, I, even if he didn't, um, chip in, I would still get this place. Uh, it's not like I'd make him pay rent because like, that's my brother. So it worked out well in the end for everyone. Obviously this is his room. He hasn't really done much to it. I put some of my books along here, some more books in here. There's a little shelf. Cool little lamp, uh, and then this is, let me turn the light on. Uh, this is just a pretty simple little shower room. I see you. Um, okay, let me turn that off. Uh, closet, closet. There's a lot of storage space in this place, which is actually quite nice. Um, and then we come through to my bedroom and my bathroom. So come through here, cool little, whatever the hell that is and uh, this is actually my bathroom it's quite cool i really like the uh, i really like the style of it and whatnot um all looks quite fun in in general i like i'm super guys honestly i'm just like i'm super into fashion i have like i, I love fashion like everything needs to be on point like i have a very like distinct eye like i'm very very picky when it comes to like the look of things so um, yeah, in general, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this place. Um, I don't have a shower, so I just shower in bulbs, um, but I do have this bathtub and I, uh, I broke that in with uh, my uh, girlfriend the other night. <laughs> so plenty of fun, uh, definitely like that place. Um, we'll switch that off. Then coming into my bedroom, uh, there's actually no lights in the, or like no like clicky lights from the top, uh, which is interesting. Once again, this is my room. There's not much to it, as you can see. Um, I have lots of closet space. I, ca I have this, which I don't know what it, it appears to be like a makeup station. Um, so I guess whatever, my girlfriend can use that, <laughs> I suppose, when she's over. Um, yep, yeah, this is a, this is my bed. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. I, I really have not done much with that room so we will go on to what is in my opinion the uh, much better parts of the house 
I wouldn't say the bedrooms have like the best interior. I would actually say that's where the whatever the, the apartment actually slacks. It's the it's its worst aspect in my opinion. So let's flip around to the cool coolest areas in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So I said the TV. Now had a little issue with the TV. Basically, when I checked this place out, I actually checked to see like does it have an HDMI cable and it did so i was like okay dope uh, then i went to go buy a bunch of stuff for the place and i looked no hdmi cable so basically turns out what happened was um the the old tenant actually brought in her own tv um and obviously that had an hdmi cable and turns out i'm gonna have to do the same so i went ahead and bought uh, I, I don't play video games ever guys. I don't ever watch TV, but I thought you know might as well be nice to have it um, If any friends come over and they do actually want to play uh, Got myself a little PlayStation 4 extra controller got myself a little Apple TV just so I can stream Netflix and movies and shit quite nicely uh, But as I said, I am going to have to get a new TV So I just ordered a new flat screen so spent 500 pounds on that uh, or whatever like $600 on that um, and then I just had to uh, order a new uh, $700 flat screen as well. Um, so it got quite expensive, but whatever. <laughs> that is the uh, that's the couch. Really nice, lots of fun. And yeah, guys, this is this is the main thing. There's this cool <laughs> light bulb here. Um, there is this little yak stool. Um, I actually went to IKEA yesterday and picked this up. That table right there was actually the dining room table, and there was no desk, so I switched them around. This, I don't know what the fuck this is, but this is actually leaving. I put it in the contract. I told him that you have to get this thing out because like, the, like <laughs> I have no use for this thing. Apparently it's super expensive. So yeah, then we move on to my desk. Now here's my desk. Obviously I have my ultra wide, which I have my ultra wide, uh, which a lot of people ask about this. It's, I think it's a 34 inch LG ultra wide, which hooks into my uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch spec'd out. Love that thing. Um, obviously got my desk, got a little stuff here. I still need to like decorate the place fully. Um, <laughs> that's my new Ikea desk. <laughs> I did a little fun trip to Ikea the other day with my mom and my girlfriend and like, I've always wanted to go to Ikea and it wasn't a letdown. Like the showrooms are so fun. So anyways, uh, this is my kitchen. Let me turn on the lights. What I love about this space is it just got a shit ton of storage. Uh, as you can see, I'm working on getting a cleaner quite soon. So, uh, as you can see, lots and lots of storage. This place actually came like legit, like fully furnished. Um, what I've actually gone ahead and done is I've, I've put equipment and stuff in these things. So obviously like I've got like a bit of food here, but I went ahead and I like kind of like just organized all my equipment and stuff and actually put it in my kitchen. Uh, obviously got other stuff here. Um, and yeah, what, what was really cool is this place like legit came like fully, fully furnished. Um, now, as you guys, most of you guys know, I don't actually drink. Um, but if I did, I would have a lot of drinking glasses to do so with. Now, as I said, guys, super messy, but um, whatever coffee, got everything you really need. This place is just fully, fully decked out. I was actually super, super happy with it. Pots, pans, literally like everything you could ever ask for um so in general quite a nice kitchen i would say i'm very very happy with that so now we go on to what is probably my favorite part of the house which is the garden now you're gonna see it at night so obviously it's gonna be kind of hard to tell but i love the garden because guys this is an apartment you know this is an apartment it's two bedroom apartment so the apartment section in of itself just for myself like considering i live here 90% of the time is more than enough. Like you can see there's a very nice space, but the fact that you have a garden and this is my private garden, no one else can access this. There's a door straight from my back garden. So to have an apartment with a garden, like this feels like a house and I'm, I couldn't be more happier with it. So um, yeah, if we flick on the lights uh, and you will see what is popping. Let me see if, okay, yeah, gonna have to unlock that. And here it is guys, this is my garden. This is honestly so much fun, like I can't even begin to tell you. Uh, so we come out here. Um, this is all AstroTurf, which is great in the summer. I can literally like just lie out here. Um, and then yeah guys, this is this is it. Like there's a nice dining, dining room table so I can host whatever fun dinners or whatever it is I wanna do. 
Um, I've got a nice little barbecue, a nice little heater. As you can see, that's uh, that's actually my apartment. Uh, in general, like, could not be happier. You know, this, it adds a complete different touch to the place. The fact that, as I said, you know, you come out from, so yeah, you come out from working in, you know, in this cool environment. And guys, imagine this in the summer, you know, I wake up, I wake up at 5.30, um, I read, I meditate, I go to the gym, I come back, I shower, I journal, I do a bit of journaling, I can go outside, I can drink a coffee, and then get get inside and get straight to work, you know? So it's, uh, it's a cool little space. Um, so, as I said, you know, this is, it's really, really nice to have all this literally right outside my apartment. And as I said, it's mine, it's private. Um, so, very, 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 very pleased with that. One last time, I'm just going to run you through it. So, you come in through the main entrance. Uh, this, is, uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is really cool, as I said, really cool little like chair area where I can go ahead, I can pick up a book. And I can read or once I get my flat screen in and I hook up the PlayStation then I can just sit with my friends either you know I said watch a movie or play some PlayStation whatever that may be I've got my little dining room dining room table and then I've got my um, I've got my desk my workspace got my kitchen which also kind of serves as like a little storage for any techno uh, technology stuff I have I have my garden outside there which, uh, as I said, is a lot of fun. Let's turn off the lights. And uh, we've got Bob's room, which is kind of like a guest spare room. Um, obviously, you know, he can go ahead and invite his family over here. Uh, I can invite any friends or, I guess, well, relatives. Uh, and then, obviously, my bathroom, quite plush. And, uh, and then my bedroom. So guys, that pretty much rounds it out. Actually, let me use mirror. Uh, that pretty much rounds it out for my house tour. All right, guys. So let's get into it. I know all of you are interested in a bit more nitty gritty as to uh, how I got here, how much this place is costing me, and a little bit more info. So look, this place, uh, the rent is. 3,300, I'm talking in pounds, so I'll try and convert it to dollars after. So the rent is 3,300 a month, um, of which Bob and I split, uh, he does 25%, I do 75%. Um, so overall my rent is around 2,500, I believe, or 2,450 exactly. So let's just call it 2,400. Uh, and then after that, uh, bills are roughly, and Bob pays the 25% and then I pay all the bills, the cleaner, the gardener, stuff like that. So. Bills are around 350 a month, roughly. Uh, so 2450, uh, 2, 2450 uh, 2, plus 350 is a uh, 2800. And then uh, it's in the contract. I basically, I have to get a gardener. Uh, he's 200 pounds a month. Basically, obviously the, the landlord wants the, the garden to be maintained well. So um, that brings it up to roughly 3000 a month. And then cleaner uh, will be uh, roughly 250 a month. So. That brings a grand total to 3,250 that I pay personally. Uh, overall, it's around 4,000 a month, uh, which is roughly, uh, yeah, exactly $5,000. So yeah, this is my $5,000 a month flat. Um, now let's get into um, how this all happened and uh, how I got here. So um, first of all, I could never have imagined this a year ago. If I could only tell you guys the amount of pain and hardship that I went through to get here uh, and how hard I had to fight for my own place. Um, you know, I know people feel like a lot of people have excuses for themselves. And you know what, like maybe, as I said, like maybe your parents weren't great to you or you know what, maybe you do live in a country where it's a bit harder or like all of this stuff, like, like, uh, trust me, I, I know what that feels like, you know? Even to get this place, I'm 17 years old. Like, you, I had to go through fucking hell and I had to work through, there were so many loopholes that I had to go through to, in order to get this place. This, pla this place is in my name. Like, th this isn't, I don't have a guarantor. I don't have, this, it, the money isn't coming out of someone else's bank account. This is in my name. I pay for this myself every single month. Or actually, I paid six months in advance. So I actually paid, I put full six months down. Um, 
I did I did this myself. So look, trust me. Like, I know uh, for a lot of you guys watching, like you guys are trying to achieve your fucking dreams and goals, and like there are people holding you back. Maybe your family is not as good as you want it to be. Um, maybe you have to take care of your mom. Maybe you have to do like all of these things. Like, guys, trust me. I, I fucking understand that, and I get that. And like, it's tough, but it, it's possible. And hopefully, I've shown that to you. And what I'm trying to do with this channel is I'm just trying to be honest with you guys and like I you know me like I don't hide my like I don't protect my ego on here like I, I'm honest with you guys when things are going well and when things are going shit and when I'm fucking up and when I'm doing well and little aspects of me that are just disgusting and like I'd love to I'm, I'm working on every single day to get rid of and aspects of me which are amazing like I'm just very honest with you guys because if I was to tell you guys why I pushed the boundary so hard, it's because I never had, like, I never felt as though I had anyone there for me. You know, like, I, I never, I went through most of my childhood scared as to what the fuck was gonna happen. And, you know, even at the age of 17, to have dropped out of high school, to have these sort of financial things on my back, like, it's, it's scary at times. And I, it kind of dawns on me, and the, there's a lot of, pressure and whatnot and like guys like my my fucking promise to you on this channel is I will continue to test things I will continue to see what works what doesn't I will use myself as just a test dummy and I will I will honestly and wholeheartedly and I won't hold anything fucking back I will show like I will tell you guys what is working what is not and I will never ever fucking lie to you and that's my promise to you and I will never ever make things out to be better than they are I will never, I will never try to just protect my ego and 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 blow up things. So this is me. Like this is this is me raw. This is me honest. This is me real. This is what I've managed to do, which isn't much. You know, like there's there's people doing much more than me, but I uh, I had a. I came from a, a not so good place, um, whether that was uh, sort of fam family things that went on, whether that was certain financial burdens at a young age, uh, whether that was, you know, last year when I was, I was fucked up and I was going out and taking stuff that wasn't that great for me, uh, hanging around people that weren't that great for me. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm happy. You know, because this is my journey, this is my story, and I, I uh, managed to uh, managed to make one of my little dreams come true, which was have a place to myself, have a place that I could call home, and that was a peaceful and just <laughs> was a ha was a happy place for me. So this is this is hopefully going to be my. My happy place guys and um, I'm gonna share every single step of the journey with you and hopefully uh, hopefully you stick around for that so I uh, I know a lot of you guys also want to hear about life story and stuff like that um, I know I've tried to start revealing the past month or two a lot more that uh, of what's happened in my life um, which is fucking nothing compared to some people um, but at least it has made me who I am today um, so I'll come out with that when I turn 18, which is, I think in 30 days, exactly. Actually. Yeah. 30 days. Exactly. So I'll come out with a full life story when I'm 18, because then it's certain legal things. Uh, I'm an adult, so I'm allowed to say what I want. Um, yeah. If you've stuck around this long, thank you. And, um, like, there's so many motivational things I could say right now, but just all I can really leave you with is this, like, we we are a new generation and like like i i kind of just started saying that um just because i thought it sounded cool but seriously like we represent a new generation and i don't think a kid like me could have done this 50 years ago so you're all on the other side of this and maybe you're going through fucking hardship and there are things in your life that you wish were better and all i can say is it's hard but but it's possible and I said, ho hopefully, I, I I showed that to be the case. So, love you guys. Let's uh, let's end this. I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow.